tonight, we're hearing from Superior's police chief after the city's mayor announces he wants to increase funding for the department. And to defer or not to defer, employers are faced with a tough decision after an executive order by the president. How it could impact your paycheck. Plus, calling for change, a Confederate flag mask is sparking controversy in Duluth tonight. What a petition is asking UMD to do. From CBS 3 Duluth, this is the CBS 3 News at 10. Good evening, I'm Anthony Matt. Kristen is on assignment tonight. Thanks for joining us. On Monday, Superior Mayor Jim Payne proposed his budget for next year, which includes a budget increase to the police department. Tonight, CBS 3's Kendall Jarbo spoke with the Superior Police Chief to learn what he'd use that money for. Kendall. Superior Police Chief Nicholas Alexander says this funding increase will have a meaningful impact in the quality and frequency of training for police officers. Mayor Payne proposed adding $10,000 to the police department's training budget. That's a 21% increase from last year. The money will go toward training on implicit bias, de-escalation, and real-life scenarios. Chief Alexander says in the past, police training assumed conflict always ended in the use of force. He hopes future training will teach officers use of force is a last resort. The majority of the time, the officers can work through those calls and end in a peaceful resolution of the call. And I think that's important as well, that we don't train, you know, only for the worst outcome that, um, we train heavily on the best outcome. The proposed funding will also go toward hiring a social worker to coordinate with superior police when responding to situations involving a mental health crisis. Alexander says since a uniformed officer can be intimidating for some, a social worker makes it easier to show someone how they can get help. Superior's next city council meeting is in two weeks. They could potentially approve the budget at that meeting. To learn more about the proposed budget, you can head to our website. All right, thanks, Kendall. And let's get our first look at the weather tonight. Dave, pretty warm day out there for a lot of us. Yeah, perhaps one of our last days in the 70s yeah, for a while, maybe. but it was a glorious day out there. We can take a look right now at the high temps we achieved today, and in general, they ran from 70 to 75 around our area. 70 is the normal, so a lot of towns got warmer than normal, but a cold front coming tonight is going to stir up some rain around our region. In fact, it's already getting into western Minnesota. And then once that passes tomorrow afternoon, temperatures are going to go down. So let's get a look at the day planner for Thursday, which says we're looking at about 30 to 50 percent chances for rain for midnight tonight through noon tomorrow. And then once that cold front does its trick, tomorrow afternoon's high will only be 63 degrees. So a lot of towns will shave 10. For the weekend, there will be a rebound back towards 70. So we're not quite done with 70s yet. But after that, starting on Labor Day Monday, we could go to the 60s, even the 50s. Well, we'll talk about how long that's going to last coming up in a few more minutes. Thanks, Dave. New at 10, teamwork and technology brought a lost camper home safely from the Boundary Waters. Minnesota State Patrol pilots and St. Louis County first responders were trying to find the camper on Monday. The 64-year-old man had been missing from Clark Lake area for several hours. Pilots spotted a campfire by using night vision technology. They found the person using the aircraft's camera system. The pilots relayed GPS coordinates to the ground team who rescued the man. Six Iron Range mayors signed a letter of support for President Trump's re-election campaign on Friday, and it's stirring up controversy in one city in particular. Chisholm residents are calling on Mayor John Champa to retract the public endorsement. Residents took to social media to express frustrations, saying the endorsement doesn't fairly represent the town's political beliefs. Meanwhile, Mayor Champa says he's standing by that decision. I wouldn't consider myself a conservative or a liberal for that matter. Um, uh, I vote for both parties and I believe President Trump's policies support mining, logging, things that the other side with their environmental agenda seem to hold back on. The Chisholm City Council says they will be approving a resolution to affirm the city as neutral when it comes to politics at upcoming meetings. That letter has sparked concerns from labor unions as well. United Steelworkers penned a response to some of the claims made while the vice president was in Duluth. The letter was written and signed by USW District 11 leadership, including John Arbogast. We spoke with him at the Union Hall in Eveleth today. Between low steel prices, the pandemic, blast furnaces being shut down, and the ongoing issue of illegal steel dumping, USW leadership says the picture the mayors painted of the local economy and mining industry was far from the truth. While a few hundred miners remain out of work for the foreseeable future, Arbogast said the idea that local mayors 
would claim the range is roaring back to life is insulting. Well, that comment was one of the big ones that really got my blood flowing because if the iron range is roaring back, I want someone to go tell that to the over 300 people at KeyTech that are laid off, have been laid off. The, it doesn't look like there's any hope for any of these employees into 2021. That's over 300 men and women, families, the other businesses that they support. Tell them things are roaring back. In next week's Eye on Mining, we'll hear more from the Steelworkers Union on why they're endorsing Joe Biden for president and what they expect for the mining industry in the year ahead. Join us next Tuesday at 10 for the full story. A UMD student is asking for change on campus following an incident involving a visitor wearing a Confederate flag mask where he works. CBS 3's Ryan Campo spoke with the student on steps he's taking, asking the university to take. We were told to basically put on our best hospitality face and ignore it. Following his lunch break at Glensheen, UMD fifth-year student Colin Posterick noticed a guest wearing a Confederate flag mask, making him feel uncomfortable at his place of employment. It really made me realize that I'm, I don't feel wanted any, like where I work. To raise awareness and change, Posterick is starting the petition to include a section in the university policy prohibiting the use of hate symbols. For the university, I'm hoping that they just, you know, create the prohibition on hate symbols on campus and all of their properties. Those properties include Glensheen. When the incident happened two weeks ago, Posterick says the support from the community to start this petition has been uplifting. It's just been nice, you know, having, having people there that actually understand the struggle and understand the issues that we actually have to face. Uh, it's, it's great, honestly. Ultimately, Posterick hopes students will remain involved in creating change rather than just speaking up about it. I just also want the student body to realize that equality and civil rights is not really just like a fad that they can hop on the bandwagon for at the first sight, but that they actually need to support it every day to create the change. In a statement from UMD, they say in part, UMD and Glensheen are committed to diversity and inclusion and ask all members of our campus community to model our core values, which include respecting diversity of individuals, perspectives, and ideas. We also reached out to Glensheen, but did not hear back by news time. A link to the petition is up on our website, cbs3duluth.com. Meanwhile, students at the University of Wisconsin Superior headed back to class today. The university is operating on a hybrid model for the fall semester, meaning some classes will be held in person and others online. University reps say they have a strict cleaning regimen in place on campus and masks are required in all indoor public places. An executive order issued by President Donald Trump is leaving business owners with the decision to make. As of yesterday, business owners can now decide to defer a 6.2 percent tax that goes towards Social Security towards employees until December 31st. There are pros and cons to this deferral, but as CBS 3's John Cardinelli found out, it's not an easy decision for employers. Well, it seems that we have some issues with that story, but guidance on the matter right now says if your employer defers a tax, it has to be paid back, and then the tax starts back up on January 1st. We'll have more information on this story on our website, cbs3duluth.com. More than 250,000 free COVID-19 saliva tests are on their way to Minnesota students, teachers, and child care workers. Governor Tim Walz announced the effort today. The state's education department has emailed thousands of unique codes that can be used to request a saliva test. Schools will distribute those codes to their staff. Teachers and staff are not required to take the test, but they're urged to take one if they're feeling sick. The tests have to be used by the end of 2020, but the state is hoping to extend that through the spring. It's estimated the 250,000 tests will cost the state around $6 million. Still to come on live local CBS 3 meteorological summer ended Tuesday, and it was a warm one. Tonight we hear from a climatologist to learn why it was so hot. Speaking of warm ones, the record high temp for this state is 92 degrees from 1983. Wasn't that warm today, but some towns did get 5 degrees warmer than normal. Tomorrow, we might come up 5 to even 10 degrees cooler than normal. A trend or just a blip? I'll show you with the 7-day forecast right after this break. Live, local, CBS 3 News at 10 with Kristen Vockey, Anthony Matt, Kelly Hinson, and weather with meteorologist Dave Anderson on live local CBS 3. Watch 
Jeopardy at 4.30, followed by CBS 3 Live at 5 on Live Local CBS 3. It's Thumberland's huge Labor Day sale. Get this stylish, comfy sectional for just $9.98 and get the storage ottoman free or an incredible price on the Sealy Posturepedic Queen mattress and free shipping with no minimum. The Labor Day sale at Slumberland. Here at Memorial Medical Center, we really care about treating the patient as a whole. Instead of looking at the patient as a hip or as a knee, we look at how their hip or the knee affects their life. I'm Joe Signorelli, orthopedic surgeon, and uh, I've been doing joint replacement surgery for seven years. It's really important for a patient to be comfortable where they're receiving their care. And so if we can provide uh, high quality care at an affordable cost in their home community, I think that's uh, advantageous for the patient. I think they really appreciate it. Their price, $30,000. Your price, $20. Can you tell the difference? Even expert jewelers have a difficult time distinguishing the diamond Z4CZ from mine diamonds because of their similarity. This exquisite ring features a flawless simulated diamond center stone of two and three quarter carats surrounded by over one and a quarter carats of round and tapered flawless baguettes. One jewelry industry professional marveled at their beauty and brilliance. It's exceedingly rare to see such flawless stones. He's right. Comparable solitaires made of diamonds can cost up to $30,000. Your price through this special invitation will be only $20. And for a limited time, you can also receive this beautiful band with 1.92 carats of diamond Z4s. You get both CZ rings totaling over an astounding 6 carats for $20. So call or click now. Call 1-800-577-5801 to get your Diamond Z4. Call now or go to DiamondZ4.com. So call 1-800-577-5801. Call now. Hi, I'm Steve Little with Bath Planet. Your simple and affordable choice for bathtubs, showers, surrounds, and safety tubs. Right now, we are offering zero down, zero interest, and zero payments until 2022. Or get your dream bathroom for as little as $69 a month. This offer ends September 30th, so call us today or go online to book your appointment to take advantage of this amazing offer. Bath Planet, out of this world service and down to earth price. Incredible savings on mattresses during the big Sealy sale now at Slumberland. Get a Sealy Queen mattress as low as $99 or a luxurious Sealy Posturepedic for $9.99 plus free shipping. The big Sealy sale at Slumberland. Watch Dave, Caitlin, and Austin for local weather you can trust on CBS. Now, the CBS 3 Duluth WeatherMax forecast with meteorologist Dave Anderson. You know, the difference between what's called meteorological summer and astronomical summer is about three weeks. And so, is it too soon for us to be talking about autumn replacing summer? When you look at the trees around the region, some of them think uh, meteorological summer, which started yesterday, is indeed here. This picture comes courtesy of Jill Reisman, who worked here as a studio camera person back in 1988. Hopefully she enjoyed the day, as many of us did as well. Tonight through first half of tomorrow, there is a chance for some rain, maybe even some thunderstorms as well. Summer-style weather, despite that threat of autumny conditions that are already turning some leaves towards the orange. Right now we turn our attention to the conditions coming out of the airport and it's 64 degrees right now. 60% is the relative humidity with a southerly southeasterly wind at 9 miles per hour. Air pressure falling off now as our low pressure system gets closer to us. It's in western Minnesota now and it's dropped the pressure reading to 29.59 inches of mercury. Uh, I think the pressure will already start to rise tomorrow afternoon, though. It's about a 12-hour window for the rain here that we'll talk about in just a little bit. Right now, we have a wide range of temperatures in the Upper Peninsula, going from 51 in Watersmeet to 63 in Ironwood. 59 to 63 is the range of temperatures currently in northern Wisconsin. And for Minnesota, 57 seems to be a common theme from Ely to Two Harbors. You go down Highway 1 and 2, then you go up 61 to Silver Bay and Grand Marais, yeah, 57 there as well. But mid-60s, Moose Lake, 60 straight up for Hibbing, mid-60s, Grand Rapids, upper 50s, International Falls. Bottom line for low temps by tomorrow morning should be... Oh, probably the lower to perhaps mid-50s for much of our area. Cloud cover increasing will help us from getting as cool as it was just a couple mornings ago. Taking a look at the Doppler map right now, the higher pressure from earlier today is fading away 
and it's leaving even the upper peninsula of Michigan right now, allowing clouds and the rain from the lower pressure system to start coming our way. And yeah, we're starting to see the presence of an organized line of storms brewing up just south of Lake of the Woods County here and approaching places like Beltrami County. And so this is a classic setup with a center of low pressure here and a cold front draping behind, which is a great agent of lift to stir up, well, showers and thunderstorms. It's a fairly narrow band, but it could pack us with a bit of a punch again like we had last night with some heavy rain at least briefly and some thunder and some lightning as well. But by tomorrow afternoon it should be gone. And as far as rain totals go, right now it looks like we're eyeing up about a half inch to an inch near the Canadian border and maybe only a tenth for much of the rest of the region. So it'll be a bit selective in the rain that it drops. All right, dropping tonight, our temperatures in Minnesota, that should go from about 50 to 56 with increasing clouds. And, of course, some towns already seeing the rain paying off. Increasing clouds, Wisconsin, Michigan as well. Lows in the 50s for tomorrow. Daytime highs in the 60s. That cold front coming in will cool us down. 50% chance for morning rain in Wisconsin, afternoon clearing. 40% chance for morning rain in Minnesota, afternoon clearing. Highs, oh, 60 to 65 for most towns. Extended forecast shows... We'll recover our temperatures towards normal, which is 70 for Saturday and for Sunday. And Friday's pretty close, but Sunday and Monday and Tuesday as well is our next rain chance. So Labor Day weekend's coming up. I think the first half will be sunny. The second half, though, could be peppered by some rain, and then we drop into the 50s as early as Tuesday. Thanks, Dave. Well, back to a story we tried to bring you before the break. An executive order issued by the president is leaving business owners with the decision to make, and it could impact your paycheck. As of yesterday, business owners can now decide to defer paying a 6.2% tax that goes towards Social Security. There are pros and cons to that deferral, and as CBS3's John Carnelli found out, it's not an easy decision for employers. As of September 1st, President Trump's payroll tax deferral for businesses is in effect. Employers can, if they choose, stop withholding the 6.2% Social Security tax from the wages of employees who make $4,000 or less bi-weekly. Brian Resch, a financial advisor with MPPL Financial, says the choice to withhold the 6.2% tax until the 2021 filing date has pros for employees their net take home would be increased slightly for the last four months of 2020. So that could be a small marginal advantage for some families that might be dealing with some challenges. As well as cons. If it gives them a little bit more cash flow by deferring that now, that means they get less cash flow and net income actually goes down for those same employees in the first four months of 2021. Resch says there are also some advantages in paying the 6.2% now. If they withhold it from employees' checks now and remit those payments, they don't end up with the risk that that employee leaves and they can't withhold those tax obligations in 2021. He adds deferring payments doesn't benefit taxpayers because one way or another, the tax still needs to be paid at some point, whether it's now or in the future. It puts them in the same place they otherwise would have been, which is a slightly worse position from cash flow perspective than what would be if it was deferred. A double-edged sword that Resch says creates a lot of uncertainty for businesses regardless of what option they choose. It's one of the challenges when you have executive action and regulatory guidance as opposed to having written legislation that's passed by both houses. Guidance on the matter right now says if your employer defers the tax, since it has to be paid back and the tax starts back up on January 1st, your withholding rate will double for the first four months of the year to pay the tax back and resume paying it. Switching gears, meteorological summer ended Tuesday, and it was a pretty hot one. 2020 will go down as Duluth's second warmest summer on record. We saw average temps around 67.1 degrees. That's the top three hottest summers in Duluth have been all recorded in the last 14 years, with the warmest happening in 2012. We're hearing that the increase in heat is due to drought conditions, and the trend in the Northland is both warmer summers and warmer winters. Still to come on Live Local CBS 3 today marks the 75th anniversary of the end of World War II. Stay tuned for a look on the deck of the USS Missouri. CBS 3 Live Cams are brought to you by Kohler Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac. You're not just getting a car, you're getting Kohler.
Schneiderman's helps you celebrate life's happiest moments when everyone has a spot, even spot. Shop our Labor Day sale and save 23% or get 60 months financing only at Schneiderman's Furniture. It's the final days of the Ford Summer Sales Event. Time's running out to buy America's best-selling brand with our best deals of the summer. Get great offers across the Ford lineup. Shop online or in person. But hurry while selection is best. The Ford Summer Sales Event ends September 8th. For a limited time, get 4,500 total cash on Fusion. That's 4,500 total cash. Only at your local Northland Ford dealers. Whatever your water worry, Culligan Water can help. From value price softeners to the world's best and even salt-free, no one has more solutions than Culligan to customize the best filtration for your home. The only water that comes with a van. Contact Culligan, the local water experts. Join our team at St. Anne's. St. Anne's Residence is calling to service nursing assistants, LPNs, personal caregivers, and food service workers. We offer excellent pay, bonus opportunities, and great people to work with. Apply online. Together, we are St. Anne's Strong. At Prime Appliance, our prices are so low that some folks don't think we carry high-end appliances. Well, nothing could be farther from the truth. Come to Prime Appliance and see all the premium brand names we carry. You'll be impressed when you work with the best. Come in and let us prove it to you. Lawless criminals terrorize Minneapolis. Joe Biden takes a knee. The weak response from Biden and radicals like Ilhan Omar has led to chaos and violence. And their calls for defunding police would make it worse. President Trump is making it stop, making crucial federal resources available to protect Minnesota's families. Communities, not criminals. Jobs, not mobs. Strong leadership when America needs it most. I'm Donald J. Trump, and I approve this message. Here at locally owned Adolphson Real Estate, we are ready to help you find the home of your dreams with no extra fees. Take a look at this gorgeous, centrally located home on 3.4 acres. Please call our Cloquet office for more details. Call us today to schedule a tour at Adolphson Real Estate. Watch Jeopardy at 4.30, followed by CBS3 Live at 5 on Live Local CBS3. Schneiderman's helps you celebrate life's peaceful moments. Eight hours at a time. Save up to $700 on Beautyrest Black Adjustable Sets during the Labor Day sale at Schneiderman Sleep. Up to 60% off on summer clothing and footwear from the North Face in Columbia at Northwest Outlet. When severe weather hits, two to CBS 3. Tonight at 10, we'll be out here in the storm. For up-to-date coverage morning and night. Oh, stay away from here. Um... Live local weather coverage on CBS 3 Duluth. Watch Dave, Caitlin, and Austin for local weather you can trust on CBS. On this date, 75 years ago, Japan formally signed surrender documents aboard the battleship USS Missouri in Hawaii's Tokyo Bay. That officially ended World War II. The war lasted six years and involved at least 30 countries. More than 400,000 Americans died. Today, a special commemoration ceremony took place at the battleship Missouri Memorial in Pearl Harbor. World War II veterans, active military members, and dignitaries gathered to mark the milestone. The event was scaled down because of coronavirus. Many veterans, now in their 90s, were unable to attend, but some shared their memories. I knew a possibility we may not come back, but we didn't dwell on that. Some guy caught it, and he jumped up. He says, the war is over! And all the guys said, the war is over! World War II was one of the deadliest wars for U.S. combat deaths. Coming up in sports, local highlights from the soccer pitch, plus the Bucks square off against the Heat in Game 2. Kelly's got a lot of sports to get to next. Watch Jeopardy at 4.30, followed by CBS 3 Live at 5 on Live Local CBS 3. For a limited time at home, get king mattresses or bedroom suites for the price of a queen. This king Euro top mattress is queen priced at $4.99. Save $800 on this king Micah bedroom suite with no interest financing until 2024 and free no contact shipping. King for the price of a queen at home. Years fly by. Your retirement date keeps getting closer. Rather than spending another night worrying about your investments, get a second opinion on your investment strategy today. Let us show you how a professionally designed investment strategy that's aligned with your goals can help you sleep well at night. Go to MPPLfinancial.com to get our investment review checklist. Then call MPPL Financial this week for a complimentary second opinion consultation. A second opinion could be your best 2020 investment. 
This summer, get back in the driver's seat. Your Honda dealer is open and ready to get you into a new Honda today. Like the versatile HRV or the fun to drive CRV. Visit the Honda Summer Clearance Event and get a great deal from Honda. KBB.com's 2020 Best Value Brand. Get a great deal on the CRV at the Honda Summer Clearance Event today. Mediacom's fiber powered broadband network was built for the future, and it's in your community. Delivering gigabit speeds to every home and business we serve. We'll be one of the first in the nation to take you to 10G, making your community one of the fastest in the world. The foundation is in place, and Mediacom will be making way for brilliant possibilities, igniting economic development and lighting up communities nationwide. What happens now? Now that the rents do, but they've cut your pay. Now that the virus has cost lives, but your health care costs too much. Now that our president has had months, but he still doesn't have a plan. What happens now? Joe Biden knows how to lead through a crisis because he's done it before. When our economy was on the verge of collapse, Joe Biden led the largest economic stimulus in a generation and saved millions of jobs. Now Joe Biden is ready to lead us through this crisis. He knows rebuilding our economy starts with fighting the virus, increasing testing, getting more protective gear for health care workers, and calling for mass mandates nationwide. As president, he'll get working families back on their feet by lowering health care costs and helping small businesses recover. So what happens now? We elect a president who will build back better. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. It's BOGO time. Buy one rug at sale price and get another rug free at Homeworld Rugs. Mix and match from over 30 patterns and up to 11 sizes. Rug experts in every showroom can help you find the perfect rug. Buy one, get one rug free now in all home furniture locations. Now, CBS 3 Sports with Kelly Hinson. The last time the Milwaukee Bucks made it to the second round of the NBA playoffs two years in a row was in 1987. That's over 30 years ago. They took a tough loss in game one against the Heat earlier this week, which is exactly how they started the first round. Could they turn it around in game two? Miami led most of the way in this one. We pick it up late in the fourth. Jay Crowder knocks it down to put Miami up by 10 at this point. And the Bucks claw their way back. Chris Middleton makes three straight free throws to tie the game up with 4.3 seconds to go for the Heat inbound to Jimmy Butler for a fadeaway jumper and he gets a foul called as time expires so it ends with a walk-off free throw. Bucks would make it interesting but ultimately Jimmy Butler seals it. They go up two games to none. And on the soccer pitch tonight, Duluth Denfeld opening their season against Duluth Marshall. Several players from Denfeld opting to kneel during the national anthem at Public Schools Stadium. Less than 10 minutes into this one, Keegan Chasty makes a nice move on a defender and buries the right footer from 20 yards out as the Hunters grab the early lead. Nine minutes after that, Xavier Decker pokes a rebound ahead for Chasty. What a nice slow redirect there. Chasty had a hat trick in the first half. The floodgates would break open soon after. Decker getting in on the scoring action himself. Hilltoppers make it interesting in the second half, but ultimately the Hunters take it 6-3 the final. With games not scheduled now till April, it hasn't stopped the St. Scholastica football team from hitting the field and getting better. CBS 3's Neil Viersba has the story. It's been a long time since the St. Scholastica football team has seen one another, but as the team returned to practice this week, they were just grateful they would get the opportunity to compete. It's a relief to be, to be back together. It's extremely great to have everybody back. Um, and spend our time together. So I'm just valuing right now all the time we get together. The Saints won't play a game until April, but that's given them time to catch up from what they've lost this past spring. Our plan is we're going to move forward as if this is our non-traditional season, just like spring ball. Um, great thing is, is we're allowed to have pads. So there's going to be some added value to these practices. But when it does come time to play, the team knows what to expect. Spring ball up here in March is always cold. And so... 
playing real games up here is definitely going to be cold, but we're all for it. And we're just glad we're getting to play games at all with how everything is. In addition to the shift to spring, the team also will be switching to the Mayak Conference in 2021, which head coach Mike Heffernan says it works with the current schedule. The benefit of only playing four games is that our guys don't have that tax physically going into that next fall. Regardless of what conference we're playing in that next fall, that's always a concern, playing that late and then turning around two months later and playing again. So I think the four games help us with that. They're scheduled to practice for eight weeks before taking a break and reuniting in early spring. And with no fall season for the St. Scholastica volleyball team either, they've had to get creative with workouts in Lake Superior, yoga at Anger Tower, and new this year, a sand volleyball tournament. The Saints were at the Skyline Courts this morning for an intramural squad sand volleyball tournament, what they're calling Queen of the Court, a fun competitive way for the Saints to move forward with activity this fall. Head coach Dana Moore says the team bonding has always been a huge focus for their program, and now they're maybe meeting it this year more than ever. Our whole thing has been about when can we get outside, when can we do fun things that are going to unite this team. So it's going for what we expected. It's going really well. They're bonding as a team. They have been up for anything. But this is cool because it's their sport. It's amazing. It's This summer is just really hard to play any volleyball because there's like not many things open. And it's just really nice to get back and competing against each other again. They're going to continue the tournament as the season goes on indoors. And finally, an update from the MLB tonight. Brewers win over the Tigers 8-5. to And the Twins clobbering the Chicago White Sox currently in the ninth. It's 8-1 to Minnesota. That's going to do it for sports. We'll be right back after the break. CBS 3 Closed Captioning is brought to you by Essentia Health. Have our certified nurse midwives provide personal one-on-one -on -one support and guidance for your next pregnancy. Visit EssentiaHealth.org to learn more. Would you like to lose a pound of fat a day? You have to weigh yourself every morning, and when you just see the pound go off every morning, it just keeps you going. Step on the scale and you see the weight that you lost, and you're like, oh, this is so easy. Why didn't I do this before? Order online or call today for a free consultation. Today we say so long, summer, and hello, fall, with the new DQ Fall Blizzard menu. There's the always festive pumpkin pie, tasty new caramel apple pie, and more delicious fall flavors than ever. Right now on the new DQ Fall Blizzard menu. If you're craving fall, you can find it at DQ. Happy taste good. Join our team at St. Anne's. St. Anne's Residence is calling to service nursing assistants, LPNs, personal caregivers, and food service workers. We offer excellent pay, bonus opportunities, and great people to work with. Apply online. Together, we are St. Anne's Strong. Hi, I'm Stephen Ray. At Miners National Bank, we offer local originating, local processing, local closing, and local servicing. For your next mortgage, apply now. MinersMortgage.com. Miners National Bank of Eveleth, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Duluth's first fire hall constructed in 1889, laying the cornerstone at the public library in 1901, the original Gale of November in 1905. Though most have come and gone, there's one of Duluth's early establishments that still stands to this day. CBS 3's Anthony Matt gives us a special look at the history of Stuart Taylor Printing Company and how they've become one of the oldest companies in Duluth and the state of Minnesota. Thursday at 10, only on live local CBS 3. Vaping has been declared a national epidemic among youth. One in three high schoolers vape in northeastern Minnesota. My child started having seizures from vaping. There's still so many unknown chemicals. One vape cartridge has as much nicotine as at least two packs of cigarettes. My child was hospitalized with severe lung injuries. They said it was no big deal. My child said it was no risk. That it was under control. That's what my child said. But what could I have said? Get the facts and talk to your child today. I never thought that you could lose weight without working out, but this is one of those programs that you don't have to work out. In the first 40 days, I lost 28 pounds. If you've got that, don't worry about that. Healthy Systems USA. Men's wardrobe provided by Mainstream Fashions for Men. Your fall fashion headquarters with new arrivals daily. Downtown Duluth. All right, let's get a final look at the weather. Dave, pretty nice day today, but that might be coming to an end tomorrow, huh? 
Uh, really just a couple of hours okay. as a storm system just to the west of Bemidji that's coming our way. And we're running a 40 to 50% chance for showers and storms region-wide then from midnight to noon, about a 12-hour window for a little thunder action and lightning to boot. And a cold front coming in will spell an end to today's warmer temperatures. It'll only hit 63 for Thursday, but we'll bounce back towards sunshine and close to 70 by Friday. Saturday, we should achieve it. So the start of the Labor Day weekend should start very pleasant, but it might finish a little more iffy. Still 70 Sunday, but then we get a rain chance. And then temperatures drop on Labor Day itself to the lower 60s. Mm. Burr, and that's what we have for tonight. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again tomorrow.